Hey guys, it's Jesse from Strikeforce Sports. Today we're going to show how to do the buffer tube modification to the Echo One GAT. Uh, this really isn't a incredibly involved modification. It actually doesn't even involve any modification to the body of the GAT itself, but it does require a couple parts and uh, things that you'll need to get it all done. So out here I've got all the tools that you will need. A long Phillips head screwdriver, safety glasses for when you're using your Dremel with cutting wheel, you're going to need either some kind of barrel washer set or other metal ring, and I'll explain that in a little bit, and your buffer tube and stock. Uh, to get started, the stock that you need is going to be either a G&G or otherwise stock that has the plate built in at about this point that goes directly in, and that's because you're not going to have anything to reinforce against because this is not going on an M4. You won't be able to have that disc here that keeps the alignment or any of that, so you will need something that has the pre-drilled hole in the buffer tube. G&Gs are like that. I believe a couple of Classic Armies might be as well, but this is a G&G one. Uh, or actually, maybe this is a Classic Army one. I'm not entirely sure. But whatever. You need one of those, and you'll need the screw that comes with those stocks. You will not need the plate that goes in between. So the first thing that you want to do uh, is put this into like a vise or other kind of clamp and just keep it solid and take your cutting Dremel and cutting wheel on your Dremel and take out about maybe a little bit less than a quarter inch uh, maybe even less than that, an eighth of an inch out of the bottom part of the buffer tube where the ring is. Now these are a dummy ring on this so this isn't like a fixed or uh, like a mobile ring and that's going to be nice because you want it to stay aligned with the bottom. That is because on the back of the GAT there is a large uh, kind of rod on the back here and that's actually a good indexing point. Once you've taken out that section, sand it down, make sure it's not terribly sharp. But this does not have to be an exact science. This really is just to keep the alignment and to keep the buffer tube from twisting while it's on the gun. This also can be accomplished if you were to take off this section of the actual body, but again we were trying not to modify the gun here at all. You'll remove the allen key that's in there that comes out and place this on there. But you will notice that if this is sitting like this, it's kind of upwards. It's kind of canted up, and that's because of these two pegs down here. And again, if you're not going to remove this, what well, you will need is some kind of spacer on this top end to keep this aligned. So what we chose to do was go with the Mad Bull barrel wa uh, nut washers, which are used generally for stabilizing barrels. For the front of the gun, we took the thickest one, which is like the 16th of an inch or even. It's, it's really not that uh, large at all. And you will cut that in half with your Dremel. Place that on top of the gun, right like this. And what that does is then when the buffer tube is aligned, it's nice and straight. So all you need to do then is screw that in. And awesomely enough, the threading on the screws that come in the buffer tubes do perfectly thread into there. So you'll have to take a little bit of time and you'll get that buffer tube on there. But then you've just added a buffer tube and a stock to your Echo One GAT. All right, once that's all tightened down, your stock is on there nice and solid. It's definitely not going anywhere, and it is reinforced pretty well against the back of the body, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Now, this isn't doesn't have the rigidity that it would have on an M4, so you do have to be aware that I would not take this as it is without the extensive modification to the body at all and like slam the stock into anything. I, you know, I'd shoulder it just fine, but I honestly wouldn't like throw this gun, uh, this gun down you know, a flight of stairs or something and expect that this is a point that's not going to fail. Other than that, I feel like the rest of the gun would be fine, but that's really all it takes to add a stock to the back of the gun. Make it look something like a Halo SMG or something.